Madonna and Britney Spears may be known as the queen and the princes of pop, but that doesn't mean their music is always a top seller. In fact, the latest album from the two reigning pop royals both sold the lowest number of copies in their entire career. What happened? I'm Shishi and you're watching Pop News Daily. First, we have Britney Spears, who came out with her eighth studio album on November 29th. Despite high expectations for Britney Jean, the album only debuted at number four on the Billboard 200. Okay, okay, so that's respectable. But remember, none of Britney's albums have ever debuted at anything lower than number two on the charts. The work bitch singer did even worse in the UK, coming in at number 34. She was number 12 in Australia, number 28 in Sweden, and number 32 in Belgium. Wow, let's just hope the 32-year-old singer's Vegas residency helps her promote the album, because it only sold 64,030 copies in its first 10 days, which makes it her lowest selling and lowest charting album in her entire career. Year. To put that in perspective for you, the numbers put Britney one spot behind the Duck Dynasty family's Christmas album, which has been out since October. Next, we have Madonna, who came out with her 12th studio album back in March 2012. Unfortunately, MDNA turned out to be her biggest flop ever. Although she took home three awards at the 2013 Billboard Music Awards, MDNA sold a little less than 2 million copies worldwide. This is her lowest selling album ever. Luckily, her MDNA tour turned out to be a huge success success, bringing in over $300 million from 88 shows. Madonna and Britney didn't do as well as they hoped in their album sales, but I say Match redeemed herself during her tour. Out of the two albums, which one do you prefer? Hit the comments below and tweet me at PopStopTV.